Aha, uh -huh. alright. Two states. State one, something happened. Gas changes to state two. Show that the initial and final pressures of the gas are equal. Well, how we oh this is a V. This is a temperature, and we have V and we have temperature. And what's this? Oh, this is plus Q. Perhaps. Because 565 of thermal energy causes it to expand. So somehow outside, I give 565 joules of thermal energy. That's Q. So to find the pressure, there are a few ways to do this. You could actually literally find the pressure. Or we could use ratios. PV equals to NRT or NKT. Here we are changing what? Ah? Volume got changed. Ah, got. Temperature got changed. Got. N and K is constant. Pressure? Constant. If final pressure and initial pressure are equal, that means P is constant. So this is constant. So in order for everything to be constant, that means V is proportional to T. So we can say that if I take the V1 over T1 and I do some calculation, it should be the same as V2 over T2. And show that they are the same now, or some other ratio method. So this is one way. Let's find the Vs. Volume is 3.49 times 10 to the 3 centimeter cube. Ah. Can I keep both in centimeter cube? I'm lazy to convert. I think can lah. Can lah, can lah. You just don't need to convert also can. We are just looking at the ratio. If you convert the centimeter to meter, also can. Temperature must convert to Kelvin though. 273. On the other side, we have V2. So the second volume is 3.87 times 10 to the 3. In centimeter cube, because I'm just I just want to compare these two values, see the same or not. Then the temperature 53 plus 273. Miss, but here got point zero. Oh 53.0273.2. You want to stay strict, you can follow that, but this one they don't really care about that that point. We can add it too. Why not? 273.2. Okay. So there are a few ways I can accept this. As long as you show that. Initial, final, something is the same, it's okay. If the values are not correct, it's okay. So we got 3.49 for my method, 10 to 3, 21 plus 273.2. Yeah, some 11.9, whatever number, it's a ratio. The other side, we have 3.87 times 10 to the 3 divided by 53 plus 273.2. We get 11.9. So all I need to do is show that the number is the same. So how can you mark your own work if you try this out? The first mark is if you did some calculation in Kelvin. Kelvin temperature. If you got Kelvin somewhere, you got convert. Okay, ready. So then the next one is, if you use both values of V over T, in, if you didn't convert the CMQ, it's also fine. As long as it's the same. Same. And so pressure is constant. Oops, we didn't conclude. Therefore, pressure is constant. Ah, this one is the next one. M1. Right, so your value is a bit different. I'm okay with it. So far, so good. Okay, I keep going. Ah, uh. if I'm going too far, say miss. Wait, repeat this one again. Next part: pressure of gas is four point two times ten to the five for this heating of gas. Calculate the work done. Do we have enough information? Our work done, our favorite W equals to P V. We can use this if pressure is constant, and it is. So this one is uh, back to the AS one. So we take 4.2 times 10 to the 5. Volume. Ah. Volume got give to us up there. It got changed in volume. Eh? 3.87 is bigger than 3.49. So the gas expanded. 
So we want to find the change. We just take 3.87 minus 3.49 times 10 to the 3. Oh, but now we have to convert the centimeter cube. Okay, so convert centimeter cube. Wow, 160. Ah, so nice are the number. Okay, 160 then. This is work done. So in units of joules, 160. By the way, the gas is expanding, right? Uh, so if you want to follow the convention, here we don't need to find the convention, but if you wanted to stick to it, you could put a negative. This mask scheme, they don't really, they don't care about the negative sign here, they will care for it later. They don't want to penalize you two times uh, if it's wrong. So if you, as long as you go 160, that's fine. This one, the negative, I put in brackets. So if you didn't write negative, that's fine too. So here's 1 for 160. You sub in everything with don't forget the conversions. This is C1 for substitution. Ah, now the 160 we have to use in the next part. So I'm going to keep this big so we can see the whole thing. If it's small on your screen, you all zoom in on your teams, okay? Your screen share on teams. Now, this one, I want to give you all one minute. To find part two, use the first law of thermodynamics and your answer in one to determine the change in internal energy of the gas. Just now we talk about change in internal energy. Now we want to calculate it. Whenever you see this type of question, you're like, Miss, I don't know how to start. It's good to start with the equation. Let me start with first law of thermodynamics. That will be the change in U equals to Q plus w so we go oh 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 do we know the q and w we want to find the change in internal energy so you have to look very carefully q is thermal energy supplied to the gas external one ah. you got q man oh q q q oh q q q this q 565 of thermal energy cause it to expand it's kind of like remember we draw the container of piston You put a fire here or something, then got, uh, this is a Bunsen burner. What do we use? A uh, heater or something like that. So all the heat go inside. This is plus Q. <laughs> so we do know the Q is 565, but it's a plus 565 joules of energy going in. Who else give energy or take away energy? Work done. Okay, so we need to add work done. But wait, gas become bigger. So we need to put negative 160 joule. And then add 565 minus 160. That's 405 joules. Still positive. So overall, it's still an increase. This positive will tell you it's an increase in internal energy. An increase by a certain amount, which is 405. So we're right here, 405. This is final mark one. Work done on system equation UQW. This is one mark for equation. Hey, let's see. Okay, last part, last part. So with all that in mind, the U, the Q, the W, explain why the change in internal energy, a uh, kinetic energy of the molecules, is equal to internal energy. What are they saying, ah, Miss? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Internal energy change is Q plus W. But they want to talk about kinetic energy of ideal gas. So there's another U equation. So U can also be uh, kinetic energy. Let's see, not enough space. Kinetic energy plus potential energy. So if you want to find the change in all these, you just add delta here, change in U, change in Ke, change in Pe. So there's two equations for you. Don't mix them together. So we need to explain why the change in Ke is equal to change in U. Eh? Where did the Pe go? I can just can just delete the Pe like that. Why? That is what they want us to explain. What do you think? What do you think? 
Can we just throw away the PE like that, man? Why? Explain. The tip is ideal guess, ideal guess. Ideal guess got no intermolecular force. That's the assumption. If you are ideal, no intermolecular force. In real life, harder to find ideal guess. So, yeah, if you thought of, oh, why PE zero? No intermolecular force. So, we need to talk about that. Maybe we start off by saying this equation first. Ah. What is U? U is internal energy is the sum say I have sum of Ke and potential energy. I shock out a bit ah. you can put EKEP. You want to write it out if got space. Okay, so we established okay number one this. But what happened to the PE? Now we talk about that. So we say that ideal gases has no intermolecular force. Intermolecular force. Therefore, or so, potential energy is zero. Okay, and that follows through. Uh, hence, the change in internal energy is the change in kinetic energy. Because no potential energy, we don't care about it. By the way, this one is 3 over 2 nkt. If you want to calculate. So internal energy really is related to temperature for ideal gas. Alright, so this one, if you talk about the KEPE equation, what is internal energy? Sum of KE and PE, that's one. Second main idea, what is up with ideal gas? Oh, no intermolecular force, M1. What does inter no intermolecular force mean? It means potential energy is zero. That's the third idea. So you think of why is internal energy? Why, 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 why? Ask yourself why. If you can explain why, then you can explain, you can answer the questions like these. All right? So anyway, uh, if you want to try out more similar questions like this one, I just write a note here. Lah. I note down, uh, or rather a boss level version of this question. That's MJ14, uh, MJ18, P42Q2, I think it's on page 29. For future, if you want to try this out, boss. This one will get to twist your brain a bit. If you want to try it out.